The stars have fascinated humans for thousands of years, and many people think they actually influence us. Magazines and newspapers are full of horoscopes proclaiming what the new year has in store. Each of Western astrology's 12 signs of the zodiac is associated with specific personality traits. I believe in astrology a little. I think a horoscope does reflect a person's basic character traits. I think it's nonsense. It never comes true. I don't really believe in it. I read them pretty regularly. I guess subconsciously I do believe in it to a certain extent. Opinions on astrology are divided, as Gerda Rogers knows well. The professional astrologer is a Capricorn. Her ascendant, associated with her place of birth, is Scorpio. She says that means she's down to earth with a tendency to mysticism. For me, astrology is a way of looking deep into people's souls, a way of recognizing predispositions and tendencies, and realizing where they are in their lives at the moment. I think astrology is an excellent aid in situations where people have to make decisions. Gerda Rogers writes horoscopes that appear in various German magazines, and on special occasions, she looks into the stars for the stars. For instance, she predicted the 2014 Eurovision Song Contest victory of Austrian drag queen Conchita Wurst. People also look to astrology for advice. People of every age and every profession come to consult me, whether they're men, women, or teenagers. It's not taboo anymore. I've also noticed the economic crisis has changed things a bit. Now I have more men coming with big financial questions, because nowadays success in business is so important. There's no scientific evidence to support astrology, but even though many people don't like to admit it, it can be attractive. In a recent survey, more than 5% of Germans said they thought highly of astrology, while 33% said they believed it to some extent. In Austria, half of those asked claimed to believe in their horoscope. Four millennia ago, the Babylonians first studied astronomical cycles and their influence on human activity. German media psychologist Jo Gröbel has an explanation for astrology's popularity. If statistics show that the belief in astrology has grown, that may have to do with the fact that people have fewer values to guide them in their lives, and astrology is the lowest common denominator. And of course, in times of crisis, people either hope that things will soon look up, and they believe that astrology predicts better times ahead, or that they will at least derive more security in their lives from it. Thirty years ago, Gerda Rogers opened her astrological life coaching practice near Vienna. Prices for individual sessions start at 50 euros. Rogers uses a special computer program to create an astrological chart based on the date, time, and place of her client's birth. Then the actual task starts, interpreting the diagram. For me, it's like a photograph. I can see where the person is in their life. I can see their whole personality. So now I can identify the diseased spot in the person seeking advice. And once I've found that, I can offer suggestions for a solution to the problem. For more than 20 years, Gerda Rogers has been giving astrological counseling live on an Austrian radio station. Most of the callers want advice about love. Together with announcer Silvia Graf, Rogers offers solutions for the most pressing life-changing issues. 
According to your horoscope, you have the Sun in Pisces with Libra Ascendant. So there is plenty of compatibility there. But basically, he's a man who, I'd say, is absolutely incapable of making a commitment. Everyone who listens to the show feels as if they're being spoken to personally. There are so many different stories. Positive stories, but also a lot of negative stories and some bizarre stories that have earned a bit of a cult following. Even without scientific evidence, we all want to know what the new year has in store. I see 2015 as a positive year of change, especially in the second half, when Jupiter moves into Virgo to make a trine with Pluto. Then we'll have firm ground under our feet again and lots of joy in life. So, a positive outlook. This time next year, we'll know if she's right.